fairly easy, guys. Take your card, slap it in, turn it on. Menu, format, make sure that the low level is selected. And OK. Alright, that's done. And you just take a shot of the TV, I suppose. Yeah, that will do. Uh, also, for the uh, for the time lapse, I suggest you put it on to mute so that you don't hear the shutter clicking every time it takes a photo. And just turn it off. Take it out. Make sure that it is on right. And then slap it into your computer. And we'll carry on from there. Right, here we go people, this is an easy one for us. Yeah. Well then his um tutorial here. Pretty hard to see what's going on in the screen there. It's uh, very small and just a cell phone recording an L C D and it doesn't really get a lot of uh, detail. So I'm gonna gonna make it easy for us. And you can barely see that poor little mouse. Right, first thing you need to do is download the uh, stick file. Now don't worry, I'll leave the link in the description. It's pretty easy to do. You go there, back to the top, scroll down, and there it is right there. Download it. I've already downloaded it. As for the time-lapse software that you'll eventually use, you can use whatever you want, but I've found a simple one of just using simple time-lapse from SourceForge. I'll leave a link down in the description. This one works pretty much flawlessly as I've, as I've come to expect. Right, so the first thing to do is to grab your your Canon file, your Canon um, card, your SD card using a uh, using that and just want to grab this file here and rename it to C A N O N. Make it easy. You want to cut. You want to paste it right here, right beside there. Now go to your already downloaded uh, stick application wherever you have placed it, and instead of doing the stick dot bat that the uh, First tutorial guide did uh, the problem with using that one is that when you uh, use it it doesn't show your SD card so you had to exit out the program and use the stick dot command which is the same one just to come to found it so once that happens if I've done that I'll full screen that all right now my image file I'm wanting to use Where are you? Canon.jpg Alright, now notice here the firmware. It looks like uh, there are a bunch. There's like 100B, C, D and F and, and whatever. But it looks like um, this particular setup is uh, designed for uh, different areas of um, of the world and so I'm in New Zealand so this one here is 100F and I've just left it as it is obviously I don't need to download but I have clicked download because that's what you do you come to this part awaiting complication yet yeah, right and it automatically does it so you don't have to worry about it and then Scan for cards right here, and it pops up with your drive E, 16 gigabyte, for your Canon. Put the Canon part in, remember to format it. And then you continue to install step. 
and yep yep that's all clear must be bootable uh, copy veil yeah and install the SDK and you just wait a couple of minutes a couple of seconds doesn't take that long Okay, I had to press that button twice. Yeah. Oh, well, it's done. Card is prepared. That was, that was pretty easy right there. Safely eject card. Right. Right. Remember this lock card before inserting in camera. That's the little lock tab that you are. Uh, have to do before you insert it for some odd reason you need to do that but don't worry it still works you can still write to the card itself all right the next part i'll uh slap up my camera and get it going for you all right right go back let's take out your sd card put it into the lock position Camera, turn it on, a little welcome screen there, press this button up here by the thing, and then push your middle button there, and then you want to load script from file, and you want to select this one right here. You can see that and just push the menu button again and you want to go down to your interval level and change it to whatever you choose I'm going to select 2 and then you just go to back and you're ready to go and then just press the shutter button and lo and behold it starts But of course it has a lot of glitching, as you can tell by its consistent flashing. But it's taken a shot every two seconds, or however long you set it for. Now, to stop it, just press the shutter button, and it stops, but it goes like crazily mad of the glitching out and all that. How to get rid of that, I just turn it off. And turn it back on welcome screen again press your little menu button up here to start it and then press the menu button down here now just quickly we'll show you just down here miscellaneous stuff have a good look around especially at the games Come on, camera, focus, focus. Not sure if you can read it there, but Tetris. Yep. Plain Tetris on a on a Canon power shot. I never thought that you'd see the day of doing that, eh? But, have a play around with the uh, menu system here that you've got here. Have a good, have a good little play. Don't worry about stuffing anything up because it's all in the uh, SD card, so nothing will, in a sense, happen. You can go back and Press your main little button. Just, just have a good little play around, and and you will find out what to do. Right, we'll get back to the uh, time lapse video, and I'll show you, show you how simple time lapse works. Thank you. Bye. Right, people, we're back here. We are. Uh, 
in the time lapse once you've downloaded and installed time lapse just click on it pretty easy to do I've already uh, uh, taken a huge bunch of photos today and I've made up a time lapse today but I'll just show you again I'll select about yay much click on open Certainly wants to take its time adding all the files, but it does. Right, there they all are there. Yeah, originally when I first did this I had like, I, I, I left the time lapse going and I had about 500 or so files. And I forgot to clean my lens so about a good number of them were covered in dust and out of focus and the camera consistently had to refocus and take it shot every time the time lapse was, was taken a photo. For the majority I, I managed to get it and, it and it did work all right so that was easy enough. But this is pretty easy, I mean just full screen if you want. Start. Save to. And see there's already one there saved, so I'll just make up another one. There that will do. Just save. Select your resolution. Oddly enough it can do it in 4K and that's the one that I'll be showing you. For this process I'll just, I'll just simply use uh, 1080. It does take its time, as usual. You can change your frame rate, I've just always kept it on 25 your quality, and I always go for the high quality, it's just a little bit easier Get, gives it a little bit bigger and just click OK and that will take its time obviously so while we're waiting we will just sit back and wait yeah, so I'll come back uh, when it's finished. Okay, people, we're back, and I've just done my uh, time lapse. Just making, gonna make sure that everything is working okay. This is one that I recorded earlier. Clearly it's not the best of quality, but that's because I had to cut out quite a lot of um, frames that were out of focus due to the dust on the end of my lens. Simple amateur mistake, but you get the idea. So that's how that initially works. And you see it right there I mean simple little time lapse so if you know how to do a time lapse and you wouldn't really worry about this program you you'll use something a little bit more flasher but I found this because it's simple easy it's lightweight it's portable it's it it, it, it works good so you can't complain you can't complain for something that works good as it should but um I'll leave you with that because that's what you wanted to see, that's what you wanted to find out was how to install the CDHK onto your Canon and get that old time lapse working. Anything else on there then, then just have a little play around. Remember to have a look at that game Tetris and, at, and of all the other uh, features and other little menus that it can do. And I hope that this um, tutorial helped you. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, this is pretty much my first, tu first tutorial. So I'm, I'm just going to leave a lot of mistakes in and not really worry about the editing that much. So yeah. But thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.